billionaire Elon Musk says he didn't allow the activation of Starlink satellite internet terminals over occupied Crimea at Ukraine's request in 2022 as this would have violated US sanctions against Russia. He wrote about this on his ex account. According to the businessman, in 2022, his company received a request from the Ukrainian government in the middle of the night to activate Starlink in Crimea within a few hours. At the same time, they didn't receive any permission from the US government to circumvent sanctions. Musk said that by complying with Ukraine's request, his company would be committing a criminal violation of American law. He also recalled that Starlink is a commercial system, not a military system. Use of Starlink for communications, including military communications, is fine, just like the military uses the internet in general. But if we deliberately engage in explicit acts of war, then we are making Starlink a military system and other countries have every right to shoot down our satellites, Musk wrote. Starlink disconnection scandal in Crimea. Writer Walter Isaacson wrote about the Starlink shutdown in his biography of Elon Musk in 2023. According to him, the businessman was afraid that the Ukrainian armed forces would use the technology to strike at the Russian Black Sea Fleet. Musk, in turn, said that he did not disconnect Starlink in Crimea. He rejected Ukraine's request to connect it. There was an emergency request from government authorities to activate Starlink all the way to Sevastopol. The obvious intent being to sink most of the Russian fleet at anchor. If I had agreed to their request, then SpaceX would be explicitly complicit in a major act of war and conflict escalation, he wrote. Mikhailo Podolyak, an advisor to the head of Ukraine's president's office, called Musk's actions a mixture of ignorance and a big ego, which resulted in numerous human casualties. The US Senate demanded an investigation into SpaceX after it admitted that it had blocked Ukraine's Starlink satellite internet service in Crimea. Musk himself said he did not consider himself a traitor over the incident. It is worth noting that this is not the first scandal involving Musk. Last year, his company SpaceX informed the Pentagon that it refused to finance Starlink satellite communication services in Ukraine. Eventually, the US took over the costs. The number of victims and casualties in Lviv has increased due to the Russian strike. Two children are among the dead, according to the head of the Lviv Regional Military Administration, Maxim Kozitsky, and Lviv Mayor Andriy Sadoviai. The fifth death. A child, said Lviv Mayor Andriy Sadoviai. Moreover, according to Maxim Kozitsky, there is a 14-year-old girl among the dead. More than 35 people in Lviv were receiving medical assistance. Several of them are in critical condition, including five children, Mayor Sadovii reported. Over 50 buildings have been damaged. Two schools and two medical facilities were also affected. All emergency services are on site, and debris clearance is ongoing. Recall, on the morning of September 4, Russian forces launched a massive attack on Ukraine with drones and missiles. Explosions were heard in Lviv. The military reported a drone threat, and later, more explosions were heard in the city. Several buildings near the central railway station caught fire following the strike. Some 50 buildings overall were reportedly damaged in the attack. The Air Force warned earlier of the threat of drone and missile attacks across multiple regions of Ukraine, including Lviv Oblast. Lviv, located approximately 540 kilometers west of Kiev with a population of over 700,000, has been targeted several times by Russian drones and missiles during the war. The city is about 70 kilometers east of the Polish border. The deadliest attack against the city so far took place in July 2023, when a Russian missile strike killed 10 people and injured 40. Thank you.